So uh, welcome to my uh, PS4 recording of uh, today. I'm actually doing uh, Fez. I thought it was originally called Pez, but I, uh, hey, it's Fez. So uh, yeah, back to Five Hundred and Seven. This is my first uh, commentary voiceover for my YouTube videos, and uh, let's have a look at Fez. Well, I downloaded it for PlayStation Plus for, of course, August August games, and well, so far I don't think it's too bad. Now the bit I'm showing you is after the introduction is after the bit where you get the the bit with the little hat on so you know the first bit where it all goes different and whatnot and uh, then it, it kind of takes you into this 3d sort of world as it's showing you at the moment um, it is quite uh, it's quite good so you get to move around kind of thing like it's like a platform sort of jumping around sort of game um, but yeah let's let's have a look for it Gomez something went wrong I need your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. Well, Dot, really? I have a what? And it has been fragmented? Oh my god. Shattered and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village. A dimensions beyond you. Oh. This door leads to the outside world, but for now it's sealed shut. The marking on it indicates that it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in this world. No, I don't know if the dot speaks like this, but hey, it's always fun to do your own voiceover. Each require more cubes. To reach the end of the journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. Now, that's a lot of bloody cubes. But first, you must leave this place. Angry dot. There are eight cupids in this village. Like this one right here, the little gold thing. Together to find a form of four cube, which then you can unseal the door. Ooh, magic door. Find them. Ooh. So, a quick recap. Shiny golden cubes. Very important. Gotta find them all. Bit like Pokemon. Or else the universe will collapse within you in it. Hmm, okay. No pressure. And remember... Yeah, there you go. The L2 and R2 change your perspective when you've used. So... Yay! <laughs> well, I don't know if the dot speaks like that, but hey, I don't think the dot really speaks. Well, it don't speak at all. So doing your own voiceover commentary is quite uh, quite amusing when you're playing the game. And I was having a good laugh. All my friends were laughing and going, "Oh, you're really enjoying Fez then?" And I was like, "No, I've just kind of just started it, but hey, it just makes it more interesting." It's, of course, it, like if you play Little Big Planet, you. You probably like the platform sort of jumping around and whatnot and different little puzzles and whatnot, so it's, it's quite, quite good so far, I'd say. Haven't got too much into it, it's uh, to, to kind of start editing this and doing whatever you do to videos. <laughs> as you can tell, as I said at the beginning, the first commentary over here, I'm, I'm not too sure of what to say here, it's, a, it's not a... Uh, scripted performance that I'm actually written down and reading I don't know if any other YouTubers do this or whatnot but uh, hey <laughs> hopefully you guys in the comments see if you can leave a comment and let me know how I'm, how I'm doing here on the uh, on the old commenting <laughs> and uh, voiceovers because oh, I'm just so nervous really but hey Fez, Fez, what, what can I say about Fez? Cool. Uh, oh. Jump around a bit more. <laughs> Find the, uh, the 8 bits of cubes. So yes, yeah, you know, the, the 8 bits is... It's quite tricky at the beginning to find the 8 bits. So it took me a while to find these, these bits. And the, the treasure chests are quite interesting. The keys and different doors and whatnot. But hey, you know... It, it's quite, it's quite good. If you like a puzzle, I'd say 
jump on it, it's free. If you don't like it, you can always delete it. It's got trophies as well. Okay, brilliant. Thanks for watching. This is Brad. See you later.